Hello and welcome back. This is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. Today I'm going to go over bolted connections. And um, <clears throat> in particular I like to go over the bolted connection design accelerator. Now on the screen I have a simple hanger. Um, this is just going to be a pipe hanger I suppose with a threaded bolt in here. And you can see that there's no holes or and I don't have any really way just traditionally to put a bolted connection through here. Now normal process I would go in and I would uh, go into each of my parts and place a, a hole through there and um, each one of my parts and then come back to my assembly and then I go to content center and um, you know open up content center and then go to my bolts and and uh, find a way to do it. So I'd have to put a bolt and then get a washer and a nut and place it all there. So today I thought we would go through Design Accelerator which has a pretty nifty um, nifty way of putting these connections together. And again this is going to be done from an assembly and um, let's go to the Design tab and under the fasten panel is bolted connections. Um, now with this, again, uh, I just maybe uh, mention it, you do have to have content center working, so be sure that your content center is operational. Uh, this is one thing I think a lot of people get intimidated with. I mean, it comes up here and there's just a lot going on here. Um, now the neat thing is, you know, if I already got a hole, uh, there's a couple under placement. There's a lot of different ways I can come down here. If I have a hole in my components already, I just uh, uh, I'd certainly start here. But all of these work in a very similar method. So there's linear, uh, concentric, on-point hole. So I'm going to go over a couple of these, and one, the first one would be linear. And if I go through the wizard and I take a look at them, it just walks down through here and it's asking for a start plane. So I would pick where the head of the bolt is going to lie and that's going to be on this face. And it gives an indication of what direction this wizard is going to go but uh, the first thing it's asking for is uh, to place that hole and it's asking for two linear edges. So um, it's not quite as obvious but you can see uh, linear edge one is highlighted and I'm going to choose two edges to place my hole. So I'll just select one and um, I know this is one inch deep so I'll just type in 0.5 and it jumps down to my next linear edge and I'll choose this edge up here and um, I, I really don't know what uh, this distance is going to be um, whether it's 0.625 or uh, what not eh, that's maybe a little bit too high but for this demonstration that works fine and then the last selection here is going to be termination so it's asking you know where's this bolted connection going to terminate where's where's the nut going to come across uh, lay flat against so it would be you know this face over here now uh, the next thing you would do is come down to what threads you want you have a you have a a list here and I'm going to stay with my ANSI thread and I'll just choose probably a uh, well maybe a little bit small we'll try a quarter inch uh, bolted connection all right so right away um, I've got um, and you know you're looking at three things here it doesn't really understand what it is but these are the holes that are going to be placed and the first one is going to be the hole that's it's going to place three holes. The first one's going to be in this leg of the hanger. And then the second one is in this tab on the bolt. And the third one would be the hole that's going to be placed on the other leg of my hanger. So it's going to place three holes. And that's what we're looking at here is first hole, uh, second hole, third hole. All right. Now, if I click on this, it has a couple options down here. Is I can, um, it knows from here I'm going to choose a quarter inch bolt, but I can't put a quarter inch bolt in a quarter inch hole. It just isn't going to fit. So 
there's a couple clearance it's going to choose a clearance hole for me and right now it's uh, 0.266 so it's uh, it's about 16 thousandths over um, the diameter of the bolt now I can choose a couple other types I can uh, choose a loose fit which will go up to 0.281 I can get a custom one I, whatever I put in here will be the hole that's drilled and I can go threaded and it'll come in and ask for the threaded designation but uh, I'm just gonna stay with the normal and with the normal clearance everything is on this pull down over here I can choose a number of um, types of holes and you can see from this pull down I have uh, my standards that I have selected in my styles and I can just have a drilled hole I can have a countersink a counter bore um, so there's any any number of holes but I'm so I'll just stay with my straight drilled hole so this is the process you would go through um, placing a hole um, let's take a look at a couple of the others I'm going to cancel this and I'll look at um, concentric we'll take a look at this one so uh, again if I just walk down through this it's asking for a start plane and I'll, it's asking for a circular reference and I could choose that arc that radius and what it does it places the hole in the center of that radius and if I walk down again it's highlighted it's looking for a termination now you can see uh, annoyingly it goes to one of the smallest diameters I'm not sure what <laughs> what a bolden 08118 is and you can see right away it's red because I think there is no such hole um, or such bolt in in our library so I need to go back to my quarter inch these will go black and it brings me up with the with the same options so that's kind of a nice way that we can we can um, choose this now the other options are on point and on point just means that I would have opened this part placed a point on a sketch and then uh, it would have uh, found that point when I when I choose to select it and like I said the last one is by hole if the hole already exists it's just gonna ask you for the uh, starting um, the starting face uh, the hole and then the termination but since we've got this concentric we're gonna stay with this now I guess one of the big uh, points of confusion for uh, many users is well all right I'm gonna get a hole what do I what happens now so what they what they've done is it's not prompted very well it doesn't really come up and tell you this is the next step but it's adding a fastener and right here it's gonna add a fastener in front of these three holes so it would it would add a fastener out here so I'm gonna click on that it's going to basically open up content center and while I wait for that it's going to um, bring up what is available in contact center and again I have uh, my standards and I'm going to stay with ANSI and I can just come down here you know I have bolts but it's broken it up for me nicely this is this is one thing I do kind of like where um, you know if I want to counter sunk or a socket head or whatever but I'm going to take a hex head bolt and uh, I don't need a heavy large hex head or anything like that I'll just choose a hex bolt and from my preview you can see that it's put a bolt and um, it's estimating where it's going to go and how long it's going to be now you can see that it's got a bolt up here then my three holes and it's asking for a another fastener if I want but I, I want to I want a washer up here in front of the head of my bolt so I'm gonna add another fastener in front of my holes so I'm gonna choose that fastener again and again I have my ANSI selection here I'm gonna come down and you can see there's a plain washer so I'll just put a plain washer in there and that looks good to me so 
that's all I need. Now I need to flip to this side. I want to put a washer and um, maybe even a lock washer and a nut. So what it's looking at here is my bolt, my washer, my three holes, and then what would come next. So what would come next is I'll add a fastener down here. And again, I'll just come down and I'll place a plain washer over there. That looks okay to me. I'm going to add another fastener. And this one, um, I don't know, let's, um, I don't want a nut. Let's say I want, a, I want another washer. I'm going to put a lock washer over there. And I'll just come down and say, all right, I'm going to put a, uh, what do I want here? Let's see. A regular helix spring washer that's pretty good and you can see that it comes up with the indication that that's there now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another fastener but I'm building my connection I'm just going right down the way I normally would and here's my uh, choices I can put a wing nut a cap nut whatever I want but I'll just place a, a hex nut on there and it has here's the 3D, uh, my preview of it. Now, you're wondering what these arrow is. Now, the arrow, what it's done is it's built the bolt and has guessed at a length. And what it, you can adjust this length if you want. And I can drag it out. And you can see right from the indicator, it's quarter inch 20, uh, unified national course, inch and a half. If I drag it out a little bit more, it's one and, and three quarter. Now, it's only going to give you dimensions of the bolt lengths that are available in Content Center. So I can come down and I can actually even shrink it, but that's really not going to do what I want because it's, uh, it's barely any thread engagement. So an inch and a quarter length is going to work just fine for me. So you can override um, the wizard's estimation of how long that bolt's going to be. So once I'm done, um, I can just pick apply now the other thing is I can go in there's a there's a calculator up here to see if uh, make sure that you know you can apply uh, an axial force here and a safety factor and see if it's gonna work and so it's a safety factor I, I and I don't know anything about this there's it's it's got all of the forces and whatnot you can say calculate and and it'll calculate for you and come up with it's got a safety factor of four we were looking at two so this connection right now is still good um, that's about as far as we're going to go with that we're not going to delve too heavy into this but um, as soon as I'm done with this uh, I can just say apply now uh, I gotta warn you with this one here is it's gonna apply a file name and what this basically is is a subassembly inside of your assembly and it is uh, standard name is bolded connection one now if you're in a volt environment or you use this from time to time it's everybody's gonna have a bolted connection one it's gonna it's not gonna work so uh, my recommendation is getting a habit of just renaming this um, connection and you can see I practiced one here once before and I I named it hanger assembly and I can I can do the hanger assembly bolt connection 001 I can name this uh, 002 all right and I'll say save and that's what uh, there's my bolted connection so I'll say okay and what's doing there it's uh, it's built my connection so I'll just say cancel and there I have a nice bolted connection I have uh, you'll see if I open this up everything is is in there All right, I'm gonna save this and we'll just say yes okay and uh, one nice thing about this if I go back it uh, this is an assembly feature and that's one of the nice things about placing the holes if I go back to my parts look it's it's placed the holes in the part so uh, you can actually just use the bolt connection and not even add the bolts you can just add holes if you want and doing that at the assembly level and it will apply the holes down into the part level so it's kind of a sneaky way around creating holes at the assembly level uh, let me go back to the assembly and look at my bill and uh, you can see my bill material is um, 
everything's everything's here so I got my descriptions um, if I and this is at my structure level my model data it's it's got everything down here and they're all purchased parts but at my structured bomb I am up here and it gives um, the ANSI standard and here's my washer um, there's two of them I used a plain washer front and back here's the bolt quarter inch uh, quarter inch 20 UNC bolt inch and a quarter long uh, there's my uh, spring helix washer and here's my nut quarter inch 20 so everything's there kind of works really nice um, and there you have it it's a nice way it uh, can be a little bit confusing but I think as you get used to using it and uh, step through it step by step it can do a very nice uh, job for you now one of the things that you do have to be careful with in this situation uh, is that this is not constrained so one of the things uh, you're gonna have to do is go through and add a constraint and uh, whether that's going to be um, that axis down through that bolt and apply so don't forget to apply the constraint uh, before uh, you finish your connection so I already had a constraint on the um, on the two planes so what did I do I already had a constraint uh, on these two planes but it wasn't constrained up and down but that's one thing just a little note to make sure you don't forget about that if you haven't had a constraint in those uh, in those ways so that's it I think it works real nice it's a uh, very nice accelerator and once you get used to it and learn to step through these and add your fasteners um, it, it kind of makes a little bit of sense so uh, give it a try I uh, hope it works out for you and um, I don't know I, I'm kind of really warming up to it so thank you for joining me again this is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies uh, have yourself a great day take care